Hi everyone. I'm a bit early tonight. We'll just wait for a few people to pop on. very early tonight so we'll just wait for a few minutes till everyone's on. Hi Kerry, I know we've had to turn the heater on. So this is the first time we've had the heater on at night and then the last two mornings we've had it on as a timer to come on in the morning because it has been freezing. So we've all had early showers tonight, Hunter's in bed, I'm in my PJs crafting in my PJs tonight because it was just too cold. Hi mum. So it has been very cold. How's your week been? Hunter's still got a bit of a cough, but it's we've been to the doctors. I don't have one. Oh, heater. Oh, we've got um, reverse cycle air conditioning, so we just turn it up to 24 for the heater. Hi, Jane. We don't usually use it too often. It's just um, usually just to take the chill off in the morning, but I'm crafting here and I'm cold so I'm like mm, we need to turn that heater on because the whole house is cold tonight. Trackies and long sleeve shirt and jump on. Well we've all had showers and I'm in my jammies so usually I don't have a shower on Friday nights until after I do my live but tonight I'm like I was sitting on the lounge and I was cold so minus 12 in Stanthorpe. I was talking to somebody in Sydney this morning at work and they did not believe me that at my place it was minus point of oh, minus 1.6 this morning. So um, <clears throat> he goes, oh, it doesn't get that cold in Brisbane. I'm like, it does. So I was so close to sending him some um, newspaper articles. Hi, Tara. So yeah, it was um, very cold this morning. Good week, but sad. Oh, hi, Chrissy. So I've been a bit underprepared, or not so much underprepared. I've been really focusing my energy on my catalog launch that's on Saturday. So, how do you want to unlock Sarah's? I had to drive home later. Oh my God, it's cold. Yes. It is very cold, Jane. Um, so we're going to just wing it again tonight because I've been focusing solely on the event tomorrow, making sure that I've got everything, all my boxes are all packed, all my retired stocks all priced and marked. So those that are coming, I hope you're bringing your pennies. And I've got lots of raffle tickets left to sell. I am nearly f finished the first book. <clears throat> So my aim was to finish the first book, so I've sold 67 tickets out of that, so I'm hoping to sell the rest, but I have bought a second book just in case. I am feeling a little bit better, um, Chrissy, the boys are still a bit sick, but every time um, Adrian gets sick then it turns into asthma and he has it for weeks. So 
Um, but yeah, it's just been a bit cold. How is your baby boy in this cold? Ooh, I remember when Hunter was so little. I washed them up and almost froze while putting them into the dryer. Yeah. I left to pick up Hunter and I was in my track pants and a t-shirt and froze just getting into the car and I'm like oh I should have had my jacket on because we didn't open the house at all today it was so cold so all right that's nearly eight o'clock we're all fine he sleeps in our bed yeah it was always so hard with the baby. Hi Denise, working out um, whether they're going to be cold. Like when they're that baby baby, they kind of keep the blankets on. But when they start rolling, they're a bit harder. But oh. Hi Denise, how was Warwick? Warwick would have been bloody freezing too. My God. Autocorrect. All right, so I've got Adrian to do my little um, drawers and everything already, so we might do them because I usually do them first up. I am still a bit early, but Julie won the uh, for the comment last week on the live. So Julie has won, and I think I've written over the name of this product: Sweet Season Specialty Washi Tape. We all love washi. So, and do we all like my nails? Chrissy, you will usually make a comment on my nails. I got them done last night. So I'm just trying to replicate Rococo Rose, which is one of our new colors. I should have put that out. So do you think I did a good job? Rococo Rose. And gray. But because this colour is very, very um, flat and I usually have lots of glitter and everything. So I picked out a, a, a matte grey high back. Um, but my nail lady goes, that's not really you. We need some bling. And I'm like, yeah. And she goes, oh, I've got this grey with the glitter. I'm like, how good is that? Love it. So I think she did a pretty good job. Really dry. I love spending time with the boys. Oh, that would have been nice. Denise? Alright. So. Oh, and the winner of the sketch, because it's the end of the month, so the sketch is over. So I think this afternoon there would have been a post go up of the new sketch for next month. But the winner of the sketch entry for this month was Sue. And Sue has won a roll of ribbon and this is Island Indigo and it's the big chevron ribbon. Five eighths of an inch I think it is. So I'll bring those tomorrow ladies to the, um, I'll put them in my little basket here now. And for those ladies that uh, I ordered the trimmer blades for because I was one of the very few lucky demonstrators and even customers to get the blades in Australia. Um, I will be bringing your blades tomorrow. So I have, <laughs> I think I had 46 of them in the box arrive. So I had a whole box. This little box arrived. So this is only one of Stamping Up's little boxes. But when it arrived, I'm like, that's a little bit bigger than I had anticipated. And there was like 46 sets of blades in there. But I have, I think there was about eight of you that ordered blades. So I managed to get all of them for everybody. So I think that was pretty amazing achievement. Hi, Marie. Um, so I'll bring them tomorrow. But for those ladies that did miss out, apparently there is going to be another order, ne another availability next month to order blades. But again, I don't think it'll be a very quick, uh, a long window. So these blades, when they went on sale the other day, they were sold out within 15 minutes, Australia-wide. So um, had to get in quick and do that. 
Um, today's the last day for Everything is Rosy uh, bundle or product medley, it's called. So I'm just trying to switch the screen around. Um, the cards that we started to make last week, we made a couple. I made a few more. So I was going to show you what else I finished off some of the ones that I'd started. So that's one. And I still have loads and loads of paper left. Um, there's another one. And another one. I just love this colour combo. I'm going to be very sad when I do run out of it, but there is so much paper that it's going to take me a long time. And another one. So I've been a bit busy this week. I Although I haven't had a chance to blog them or anything yet. So this is the first time you're seeing them. That was one of the ones that we coloured with the shimmer paint. That's pretty. Here's another one that we did with the shimmer paint. And they're the finished ones that I did last week. And then I started this week and these are all card bases that have DSP on them ready to go they just need sentiments and um, more uh, sentiments and decorations so and I still have DSP in here so I haven't used it yet all of it there's 48 sheets of it and this by doing it this way, um, I've only used half a sheet, so I actually get two cards out of it. And then I've just used the shimmer paint to spray down the bottom. So I was watching, watching a video the other day of Jessie Holton, who, she's a demonstrator in Victoria. And she was doing that. I'm like, oh, that's a more economical way of using the DSP than having the full sheets, which was here. So although with that, I did end up with a scrap piece, which I then used there, like that size, but this way you get two full cards like that. So it depends how long you want your um, car, your DSP to last for. But yes, there is loads of it. So I've made up, how much is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine full cards and I think I've already done about six so let's say 15 full cards I've had already plus I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirty cards. Hi, Chrissy. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you can share the video, that would be great. And just tell me where you're watching from as well. That would be fabulous. So I think, I don't know whether you can see, you might be able to see the shimmer paint a bit better on the white. It's just very faint there. You can see the... Uh, hi, Sue. I think you missed it before, Sue, but you won the, um, the sketch challenge for this month. So you've got this roll of ribbon that I'm bringing tomorrow. Um, can you see the shine down the bottom there? You can really see it in person, but the lights are a bit, a bit funny. So I've got 30 cards there, and I've still got loads of DSP left. So if anyone's on the fence about everything is rosy there is still it's still available but only until midnight tonight I had a <coughs> lovely lady purchase the um, product medley yesterday and because the deal is 
It's $139 and in Australia, Adelaide, Chrissy, is it cold in Adelaide? We've had a massive cold snap in Brisbane and everyone's bringing it. I've got the heater on, it's so cold. Um, and so the sign up deal for, to be a demonstrator in Australia is $169 and you get $235 worth of product. So by adding an extra $30 to your order, um, you can get a heap more uh, free product. So what's with the um, team member that I had signed up last night, she was able to get the Everything is Rosy bundle, the Night of Navy cardstock, the Melon Mambo cardstock, the Melon Mambo ink, the Night of Navy ink, Whisper White ink, some glue dots and dimensionals, all for the $169. So now she has everything she needs to make all the cards that I've just shown you because they're all the supplies that I've used. Freezing. Yes, it is freezing here too. It's unusual that before June we have the heater on. And usually we only have it on of a morning just to take the chill off. But we've got it on tonight because I'm sitting here and it's cold. So I've also had some fun colouring. Now I am not the best colouring. I'm not the best at colouring. And I'm not even very good at saying colouring. And I used to have issues when I was little trying to say, and I would say colouring instead of colouring in all the time. And I still struggle with that today. But I did, I am trying to get better and I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of demonstrators trying to teach me to colour because I am in love with this Magnolia set. And to use it effectively, I think you need to be able to colour. It does stamp well nice on its own, but it does look very good when it's coloured. So I've been playing around a little bit. This is stamped on crumb cake and embossed in gold. And I have coloured it, so I've used light petal pink, dark petal pink, the colour lifter and light mossy meadow. The colour lifter is my new best friend. I'm watching from mum's and was going to show you but it won't let me post a photo comment. No. Hi Beck. I've got two Becks watching. Hi Beck Dyson. How are you? Hi Carrie Ann. So um, this is my attempt on colouring on crumb cake. You can't see the colour so well because of the base color but it does give a nice effect on that so I'm pretty happy with that and you can still see a bit of the shading this is the attempt on um, the shimmery white cardstock and it's embossed in the white and you can see that so I haven't yet made these into cards and then I've got this one, which is on the shimmer white cardstock embossed in copper. And I've coloured this and I'm finding, and I need to Google this a bit more, but I'm finding when you colour embossing with the alcohol markers, it smudges a bit. So it kind of takes some of the heat embossed areas off. So I need to Google that a bit more um, and yeah, see why that's happening. All her comments count for me tonight to just you know I'm ahead five seconds. Oh. Um, so that that flower to me looks a bit dirty and it, I don't think it's coloured nicely but I think it's more because it's smudging the embossing. But it didn't seem to happen with the gold, it just happened with the copper. So I don't know. I need to do a bit more research with that. Then I've used some vellum. And this is um, heat embossed with the white on vellum. And I've coloured on the front. So some people, when they use vellum, they colour on the back and you get a softer image. I want it, because with the petal pink, it's very light to start with. I wanted to get a dark image, so I coloured on the front of the vellum, not on the back. So, and then this is the vellum coloured in the gold, uh, heat embossed in the gold. So I really like this. That's a bit cute. And 
I'm a bit excited by these. So these are the stamps. So I've stamped the little image in the stamp set instead of the big one. So just the little image there. And I've coloured these, so I've just stamped these in early espresso because I'm using the paper, the colours that are in the um, DSP paper. And so I chose early espresso because it's just a little bit, it's not as harsh as the memento. And then I've coloured that in with petal pink, dark petal pink, light petal pink, and then with the colour lifter and just the light mossy meadow. And then I've just used crumb cake, I think, for the... Um, stem and then I have I don't know whether you're going to be able to see it this is just on normal cardstock and I've just um, put a layer of uh, Winker Stella on it and given it a bit bit of sparkle as well so I did a whole oh I really like the flat yes so I can't believe I coloured these myself I'm pretty impressed I'm not very good at colouring so I did a whole sheet of these. I stamped one, two, three, four, by five. So I've stamped 20 on one sheet of A4 cardstock and I've cut some of them out. So there's matching dies that go with this set as well. So the dies will cut this big image out, this leaf, this little image, um, and then there's lots of other little dies to actually cut out um, the magnol and make other magnolias as well. So this is the big image, the leaves and the indents for the leaves, a little scrolly thing. And this is the one for the little flower and then these make the other flower, like a magnolia flower. I made some at our team day. Oh, they've got a bit flat. They were in my bag. So those other ones make those flowers. So they're a bit cute. So, because I've spent some time colouring those, I thought I would use those to make some cards tonight. I did start to have a quick play. So I'll show you some other cards that I did start to make and then we'll make another couple. So I'll flip you around. And I haven't changed my mat from last week, but this is one of the cards that I made. So I'm trying to use a piece of each side of the DSP. So this has got three of those flowers that I would um, coloured and cut. So I've got some other ones here that I've cut out. So I've got them three cut. I've got the ribbon. So in the bundle for this set, you get two lots of ribbon. And so you get like a green twine and a <clears throat> linen type ribbon. And so they come in a two pack in this suite. So I've just doubled over, I've, I've tripled over the ribbon there and tied it in a bow and stuck it there on that. I've put the dimensionals on that. And then I've just used the sentiment in here with enjoy today. And I've just cut that out with the... I think this is the classic label punch. Because <coughs> it fits really nicely in there. And then it's nice and easy. And this way the DSP is doing a lot of the work. You don't have to do too much. So I've got that one. And that's just on a mossy meadow base. I haven't done any of the insides yet. Then this one is also on mossy meadow base. And this was one of the ones I tried um, colouring with the white craft ink. 
Um, it, it's quite a, well, I find it quite a difficult technique um, to do. So um, I don't think it looks the greatest, but it does still have the effect that I want. And I've done it on crumb cake cardstock. Um, and I've stamped this, all the sentiments in early espresso so that they kind of all just coordinate together and attach some of that linen ribbon behind. So that's that one. Then this one, I love this paper. So that bit is a little bit annoying. It's hanging off the card there. Um, so I use some of the copper thread on this one. Now this is retiring, so after next Tuesday, um, that won't be available anymore. But um, I've still got some on a roll, so I was using it. And I paired this with the um, leaf trinkets that they're in this catalogue, the current catalogue, but they are carrying over into the new catalogue as well. And they go with the Rooted in Nature stamp set in the suite. But they pair really well with this because the leaves in this. So they come in um, copper and silver. So I just used the copper ones and then used the copper thread on that and that's on a um, on a black card base which is not being cut straight but I'll fix that up this is another <coughs> one of my um, coloring attempts and this is another one where the embossing was coming away from the alcohol markers so I think with the embossing if you're going to emboss you have to color within the lines and not over the embossing because it takes away the embossing but this is on shimmery white and it's embossed in the silver and just coloured the same as the other flowers. And then I've used one of the cork embellishments that come in this suite. Just saw my comment before I should check before I post. I really like the flowers. <laughs> I understood what you were saying, Janie. It's okay. So these are the <clears throat> Magnolia Lane cork embellishments. And so in this... I've combined two sets here and taken all the leaves out because for my catalog launch day tomorrow we're all using the leaves. So in the set you get, um, I think you get 24, no you get 20 items, but you get cork tags and then flowers. And I've seen people stamp on these, I haven't attempted to do it yet, but I've seen people stamp on them. And then you get some leaves as well, but I've taken all the leaves out and they're in the kits for tomorrow. So <clears throat> instead I used the leaf trinkets on this behind that and I think that works well there too. And then with the bow, I've just tied a bow in both the ribbons that you get and attached with glue dots. And that's on an early espresso base as well. So that's all I've done. Um, which is a lot now that I kind of think about it. But I've got a few other designs here left that I want to use. So I want to make sure, make some cards with them and thought I'd make them with you guys. So I've got this paper, which is petal pink. And I was going to try and use a big flower. But I don't think vellum is really working on it. When there's too much of a pattern behind, the vellum doesn't work so well. So I think I'm going to stick with that one. And then... Stick that... Down... And I might just stick a oh. you know I might just leave it like that with no embellishments on it. So we'll stick some 
tape on the back of the DSP. And so I've just cut the DSP at an eighth of an inch smaller than your card base so that you've got a tiny border around everything. And so if anyone is still interested in raffle tickets and unable to make my event tomorrow, I still have raffle tickets available. My raffle tickets are five dollars each or five for twenty dollars and all the proceeds are going towards Brave Hearts and the prizes are ten um, prizes of stamping up product and I've bagged them all up that the product is between eighty and hundred and twenty dollars worth of product um, so there's lots of chances to win and my goal is to raise $500 for Brave Hearts and I'm currently very close to that goal and then my employer will match my donation that I make so that will essentially give me a thousand dollars but now that I'm very close to it I'm thinking that I want to try and exceed my my goal but we'll see how we go So is everyone that's coming tomorrow very excited? Hi Sue Deeks. I've got two Sues and two Becks. It's getting very, very confusing with lots of people in the same names. Uh, we might just stick that there. I'm thinking I might just put a bow because I can't not have anything on here. Where's the end of this? I'm getting very excited. I keep checking and double checking my boxes to make sure I've got everything in them ready to go because I don't want to have to come back here because I've forgotten anything or phone my husband going, can you bring this? Because he's organised a play date tomorrow. So I'm not going to have much of an opportunity to ask him to run and bring things if I forget. Definitely save some raffle tickets for me. Yes, for sure, Carrie Ann. There will be plenty left tomorrow. We might just have to trim those arms a bit more. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty happy that I've sold 67 already because my aim was to finish a book. And I'm like, I'm hoping with tomorrow, because a lot of people have said already that they want raffle tickets and will get them off me tomorrow, that that will finish that book and possibly snow on Mount Wellington. Oh, that's so cool. So when we went there, we went there for our honeymoon and all I wanted to see was snow and it didn't snow but and a lot of the tours up Mount Wellington were cancelled because there was lots of ice everywhere and anyway I was talking to this person in the hotel and pretty much complaining that our tour guide had cancelled our tour <coughs> and he said oh I'll take you up so he took us up on a bus and um, it was so pretty it was very slippery because it was very icy but it was very pretty and even he had commented that he hadn't seen anything like it and it was one of the best times that he had up there so I was pretty happy that we got to see it even though it wasn't snow hi Charlie how are you hope you're feeling better all right so I think this one will stick some ribbon on the back A 
so we'll just cut some ribbon there. stick that on so when I'm attaching ribbon I always attach it to the back and poke it round um, so that it clean it finishes it off nicely yep I'll have some raffle tickets for you tomorrow Jane that will be fine when I saw what um, because Stamping Up has donated the raffle prizes for me. They do a, um, as a demonstrator in some markets, so it's not available in all markets, I've since found out. So in the South Pacific, it is available, um, that a demonstrator is allowed to request a donation box once a year. Um, and you just tell them what your planning on like what your event is send them the information and what you're raising funds for and it has to be for a registered charity and um, so I did all that I sent my flyer to them and then they approve it or not and come back saying no I need more information so they approved mine came in and um, then send you a whole box and it was a massive box I think some of you would have seen my unboxing um, and then for the sentiment, we just use the mini dimensionals because they're easier and that way you don't have to cut dimensionals. And so the, <clears throat> and the rules are with that box of donation goodies that I can't sell the product. I have to raffle the product off. So even though I've worked it out, there's about $1,200 worth of, um, product in the box I can't sell it I have to raffle it off uh, I've bagged them up into 10 separate raffle prizes and selling raffle tickets so I'm hopeful that I can hit my goal of $500 and then my employer will match that so that'll be a thousand donated which will be good and then stamping up just ask that you do a bit of a rundown afterwards and say this is what uh, my event was, this is how much I raised and things like that. So I've got a blog post ready to go for that um, tomorrow uh, for Sunday with the amount that we raise, which will be good. And then I'm just going to attach this cork embellishment just with some glue dots. Just over there in the corner there. Alright, there's another one done. And you could add some bling to these. You could add, did I do? Yeah, I've got a bit of Winker Stella on the flower already. So there's a bit of shine on those flowers. So which one do we like better? The pinky one or the green one? The stripes. <coughs> green one. <clears throat> yeah, but you're not a pink fan either, Mum. But, hmm... So it's the same flower um, and pretty much coloured the same. These are embossed differently. So this is embossed in copper and this is embossed in gold. But they're coloured the same. But the um, change of DSP on the background and a bit of change in the embellishments and you've got a completely different card. So I'll have these and then <clears throat> what about... I do this one with the mossy meadow. I don't mind this. And this, the paper also comes in 
the early espresso. I love that. Just in the different colours. So we might do the early espresso actually, because <coughs> I like that so much. Now we'll use some of these little ones. I think we'll use three that I've coloured on there and I think we might use the silver one of those so these are already in the catalog but they are going to carry over into the new catalog so that'll be good called the leaf trinkets and this one I think Stick some ribbon. So this is truly crafting on the fly because usually when I craft I have at least a sketch or something prepared, some idea of what I'm doing. And tonight I've cut the DSP and I have the suite of supplies in front of me and that's it. But you can see how easy it is to pull together some really nice cards. You don't need a lot of supplies. This ribbon actually ties really nice bows. Some ribbons, not so good. This ribbon is really good. The new scallop um, ribbon in the in colours, which you guys will, the, those that are attending tomorrow's event will all see tomorrow, because it's on my little gift box for everybody. Um, that ribbon is very painful to be tying in bows. <coughs> But the majority of the ribbon isn't too bad. I'm not a fan. <clears throat> I really love that ribbon. It's just I don't think it's designed to tie in bows. I'll finish watching you tomorrow. Been a long day. Night, Chrissy. Hope you have a good weekend. Thanks for watching. All right, so I'm just going to tie that ribbon over. Doesn't that match the early express so well? So the um, stamping up rolls of ribbon are usually 9.1 metres. What size do you cut your cards for the DSP? Um, I'll come back to that, Sue. The ribbons usually are 9.1 metres on a roll, but because stamping up I put this, these two ribbons in a bundle, they've actually halved the amount that you get of the ribbon to keep it cost effective, which is good, but I've... This is all I've got left of my first packet. So um, I'm down to the dregs of it. So my card bases are half a sheet of... Hi Donna! Um, half a sheet of A4. So it, it really depends on whether you want... I'll get my trimmer and I'll show you. It really depends on whether you want your card base like this and it opens up that way or you want your card base like this and it opens up that way so to have your card base and it opens up this way you will cut your paper I'll just get a full piece of A4 here we'll come back to making that card i just got a piece of Whisper White. So you'll cut your paper this way, long ways, and you cut it four and a quarter in half, like, and straight up, and then you'll have a tiny bit left over, and I do trim that off so that I've got four and a quarter and four and a quarter. And then I score, and I work in inches even though I'm Australian. I just find crafting is easier in inches. And then I score at this 
which is 5 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5 and 7 eighths. So that's to get your card like that. Oh, there's a dirty mark in there. To get your card this way, you cut your cardstock this way. So I cut 5 and 7 eighths and then cut 5 and 7 eighths and then I score at 4 and it actually works out at 4 and like 3 sixteenths that I then score at but if I trimmed it down and scored it um, if I cut this to eight and a, like fully eight and a half, then when I scored it, then it would only be four and a quarter. But because this is slightly over eight and a half, oh, it's over. It's not four and a quarter. It's four and I cut it there, which is four and one eighth. Not four and a quarter, four and one eighth. And then, because you'll see, this is eight and a bit over two eighths, or so a bit over four, eight and a quarter. So if I trim it down to eight and a quarter and trim off that fifteenth of an amount and then score it at four and one eighth, would be good. Does that help, Sue? And then I just cut the DSP a quarter of an inch, uh, an eighth of an inch smaller than that to give you the nice little border around and with this one then I've just done the white piece in the eighth of an inch smaller and then the DSP again an eighth of an inch smaller on that and you just keep going for that so hopefully that helps guys it's a bit different because I'm having a few um, followers or people watching that are in different markets and so America has different size cardstock to us so I've just been saying cut your cardstock in um, half and things like that rather than actually having measurements because it's confusing for those that have different size cardstock So, we'll stick, I think we might stick them on the ribbon too, that's a bit cute isn't it? And then, stick that there with that. How do we like that? I think that's a bit cute. All right. Stick the bow on with some glue dots. I think we'll stick these on with some dimensionals and pop them up a bit. Are we all glad it's Friday? I'm glad it's the end of the month. One less month to go. You can see some of them are a little bit more heavy handed with the Winker Stella than others. But have you looked at Kylie's Australian inches? She has a smaller sizing. Yeah, I just, I haven't seen what she does. Um, Kerry, I just um, have cut my cardstock. I'm just going to pop that behind there. Cut my cardstock in half and work like that. Oops. <laughs>
Phew, bless me. Yeah, thank God it's Friday. Hey, so, um, Marie. I'm just going to get a glue dot because I don't like how they're popping up. So stick a glue dot in, in there to stick them down. And then I might stick another glue dot under all of them to keep them all stuck down there. They won't be going anywhere. Alright, and some mini dimensionals for the sentiment. And there are a couple of other sentiments in this set. I just wanted to enjoy today because I really, I really wanted the ease of using a punch um, for my sentiment. The other ones won't fit in this particular punch, but they'll fit in other punches. It's more the DSP cardstock. She cuts at three and three quarters and then five inches. Yeah, they're re that's really short. But I've, these fit in the envelopes fine. So, yeah. So the other sentiments are the hello and thanks. And they're quite big sentiments, which I like. But I wanted sentiments on a punch because I can't really... this. You can stamp directly on DSP, but this DSP is really printed and it's quite dark that it um, it's difficult to stamp on. So you kind of need to stamp on cardstock or something first. Um, and then you've also got not only for what you do, but for being someone so special. So that would be thanks. And then not only for what you do, but for being someone special. Enjoy today, which is what I've used. And then the journey of life is best shared with a friend. We'll get through this together. That's nice. And then thinking of you. But I've gone through my um, cards that I have on stock. And I have, in all seriousness, about 100 thinking of you cards. So I, because I really do like thinking of you. But I really don't need any more. So this is still not sitting right for me here. So I'm just going to stick another dimensional, try to stick another dimensional under there so that that's better. Got him. Got him down. Okay. Let's take the backing. And when I punched out these sentiments, I did punch towards one side because I wanted as much space over here to add the other embellishments, but you could punch in the middle or whatever, because the idea with our punches is that you stamp first and then punch, and you punch upside down so you see what you're punching out. So if you haven't seen, I'll just get a thing so you can see what I'm talking about. show you. So this is our early espresso. And it doesn't really matter, with punches, it doesn't really matter if you stamp crooked because when you, you line it up when you cut it out. Okay, we'll just leave that there and close that ink pad before I get it everywhere and then <coughs> when you line it up so I've been lining it up and it is stamped crooked but I just hold the punch crooked and, and it'll punch out right done and then I've got enough on that side to be good. And this one, because it's got a bit of a dodgy bit where I rock the stamp a bit, we can just trim that bit off and we can have the extra bit on the other side. <coughs> so it's good when you're first learning to stamp or if you're rushing when you're stamping and you rock the stamps like I have yeah, you can cut that bit off and nobody even knows that you made a bit of a mess of it 
So, that's the whole point of our, stand, our punches, is that you punch upside down. And they all have a locking mechanism, so that then you can store them flat. I store mine in a uh, IKEA trolley with them all up, standing up like that. And I have quite a few punches that are going to be bought tomorrow um, as part of my retired stock because my IKEA trolley is full <coughs> and I have no room for another IKEA trolley so I've been told I have to um, find new places for really old punches. I don't think I've sold very many punches at all. I am a bit of a hoarder with punches. I'm very good at selling old stamp sets but punches I do like to keep because they are so versatile but there is quite a few punches that is in my list tomorrow. Alright so I'm just attaching this with a glue dot and I've just rolled it a little bit so we don't see so much of it behind and then just stand, sticking that down on there and then this one is done too mm. I'm assuming you're trying to be funny Tara but I can't <coughs> understand what that those symbols are it's Adrian coughing in the background but he's using his computer to do his assignment so he has to be there so I really like that one do you like that one better than the other ones I think I do Face palming me, Tara. They're so tiny on the thing, I can't see what you're saying. And I have my glasses on as well. You don't like this one, Denise? I love this one. That's alright. Um, <coughs> so, we're going to make another one because I haven't used up my hour just yet. I usually schedule an hour, so we're going to do it in the black. I love it. This would have to be my favouritest paper out of this whole set. And I think on black, it just looks so smart. I love it. Love it. And that could be trimmed down just a little bit. That put the flowers up the right way. What do you mean put the flowers up the right way? Oh, the paper. I haven't even stuck the paper down yet. I'm still working on the sizes. I didn't even look on that other piece. Did I stick them up the wrong way on that other piece? On that other card I already made? Oh, they go different ways on this piece. Now you got me. This one's up the right way, but this one's upside down. This one, all right, that's the right way. That looks a bit better now. The sizes look a bit even. I think some of the DSP is very busy, but your cards are really nice. <clears throat> I think that when I use the DSP, I do try and keep the rest of the embellishment a bit simple because of that, and you kind of let the DSP do all the work for you. But sometimes I find it very hard to try and do too much at all because the DSP is so busy. But I did like Jesse Holton's idea that I stole um, for these other cards where you don't actually fill the whole piece. 
So, and this works well for this set, this paper because it's six by six, it's not 12 by 12. But you could do the same concept with this and you just cut this piece in half. Um, but there's still enough of the white space underneath that you can then just stamp on that so then you don't need too much embellishment or it just breaks it up a bit and gives you enough um, clear stuff on the card to have the DSP complement and not take over. So I actually I really like this idea. Usually I fill the whole card with the DSP as opposed to just having this much of a, a spot left. But it makes good use of the paper because you get two cards out of one piece of paper plus helps when the DSP is a bit busy. So with these ones, I was going to stamp as probably the thanks that is in the Good Morning Magnolia set on the bottom of those because I need some more thank you cards and things. Um, so just because this is the Everything is Rosy bundle or paper and stuff doesn't mean you have to use that stamp set with it. You can use whatever stamp set you want. Okay, so let's go back <coughs> to this one. And I think we might just have that and I think I might just stick some ribbon on so that you can see that a bit a bit more. Oh, that's the old end of the ribbon. I kind of wish this just came by itself because I'm not... This is really thin and to use it I've been doubling it over because um, it's very, very thin and fine. But it does work well and it coordinates well with the set. But um, I really like this ribbon and I would love to be able to buy that ribbon just by itself without getting the roll of the green twine with it. So. so you can see that when you need to make quite a few cards you should put the thin ribbon on the top of the other one. I might do that, yes. <coughs> okay. Right. Now I've got that nearly down. Did I cut enough to... I think I'm going to need some help with this. Some glue dots. Because that was not the intention first, but I like that idea, Mum. Good job. Stick him down. Stick this one down. Am I still on camera? Oh, look at that. some more mini dimensionals on might stick another one in the middle with this one because we're going to stick that flower on it might be a bit heavy you don't want him sinking no, I don't know 
Do you, should we? Because I was going to stick this, that on the sentiment, on the flower, but now I've stuck that there. I don't know that I want to cover it up. Should the sentiment go up here or on the ribbon? Everybody. Put the sentiment away from the ribbon. That's what I was thinking now that we've done that. some dimensionals on him well couldn't finish that okay and do we think we need a trinket or do you think that's enough silver leaf trinket in there Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to stick that in there. Can you back the sentiment with black and then put it on the flower? I could, yes. Oh, I love him. That's cute, isn't it? I think I'm going to have to buy me some more of them now because this just goes so well and the leaf actually matches really quite well oh I love it now I think I need a bow there that, that nothing's there I'm going to stick a bow on that mum's going to say that's enough don't do that I love bows. And this ribbon makes it so easy to tie in bows. Small bow would look good. Thank you, Donna. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at that. I love it. I think that would nearly, oh, this and this would nearly be, I'd struggle to find my favorite. So we'll make a, have a vote. Which one <laughs> we liked better out of the ones that we created tonight, which were these ones. Get rid of my mess. Which one do we like? Oh, can we see them? Yep. Out of the four that we created tonight. I agree, Denise, you can't even see that leaf, it's so busy. <laughs> You can see it in real life, Tara. Now it's the black one. That you love the most, Mum. Yeah, see, yes. It's very pretty, isn't it? I love that black paper. It really is. Real. I like this black paper too. It's not quite as busy as that black paper. But I don't know, it's just really nice. You know what would look good if this was backed with some white as well on that? Because I reckon it would make that paper just pop a little bit more. I might try that a bit later. Black or pink, it's close. The last one. Yeah, the black one. I'm thinking in the black one. I've got a few blogs that I blog hops that I'm entering. And I think I might need to enter that black one in as to one of the blog hops. I'm liking it. A lot. See whether I win the blog hops. Pink. Oh, the pink one. Yes. I don't mind the stripes either, actually.
stripes are not my thing, but I don't mind them. But this is the first time I've had a play with this set. Um, beside Black One's a winner. It sure is. Donna, I think that's the one that's won most. Um, this is the first time I've had a play with this set besides at the team day where we got to create a card with my upline and her team. Um, if I have to choose one, I'd say the wasted embellishment. <laughs> um, and it was really fun. I am feeling a little bit more comfortable with my colouring. I still am quite happy to admit that I'm not the best per colouring person. This one I'm a bit heavy handed with the wink of Stella and you can see it's quite grey and not much white space. But, um, yeah, so I am getting a little bit more comfortable with it. I think my flowers are looking, I'm happy with the result of the colouring. Um, the big, the, the littler ones are easier to do than the bigger ones. But I think the shimmery white cardstock is easier to colour on than vellum. And, I, but I like it in the gold or the silver embossed. I'm not liking the white embossing on the white shimmery white cardstock as much. The white embossing on vellum looks good. I just haven't worked out how to put that on a card yet because that's way too busy for that. So I need to work out how to do that. But, so for those of you that um, have got raffle tickets already, thank you very much. If anyone else is interested in raffle tickets, I've still got a few. It is going to be drawn tomorrow. Carrie Ann is going to be my videographer tomorrow for me to make sure that I live stream the drawing of the raffles um, so that we can show stamping up um, the participation, how much people are there, and also just so that the people that can't attend my event that have bought raffle tickets know it's all legit and all good so we'll have um, 10 prizes tomorrow plus the catalogue launch if anybody is interested in a new stamping up catalogue and haven't got theirs yet and don't already have a demonstrator let me know and I can pop one in the post for you uh, the everything is rosy <laughs> um Bundle or product medley is only available until midnight tonight unless it sells out before. But that was what I the cards that I showed you um, first up in the video were these ones. And there's so many, so much paper and embellishments and everything. I've made 15 cards already and I've got the stuff, the card bases and everything ready for another 30 cards. And I still have stuff left over. So it is truly a very um, large bundle and economical bundle, even though it is um, $139. You get quite a lot. Um, the event tomorrow, Sue, starts at 10 o'clock Brisbane time. Um, I do not like videoing. Do you not like video? I, Carrie Ann just has to um, remind me to do it because every time I have had an event at that hall I go to I want to video it and then I get caught up in the whole day and I forget it so Carrie Ann is about reminding me tomorrow to do it and um, Sue Deeks it's at 10 o'clock tomorrow the event starts and it finishes at 2 I can't promise a time that we'll be drawing the raffles but it will be sometime between those two times. But I'm going to draw all ten prizes at once. So once I start the live, we'll um, draw all ten prizes. So I might give Denise a bit of a heads up going, we're going to draw, start drawing in five minutes, so maybe she could send you a text or something so that you could get near a computer so you could watch it all, if that's okay, because I can't guarantee time. It just depends on how things are going tomorrow. But it'll be between 10 and 2. I know that for sure. Um, I'll take some last minute 75% off raffle tickets just before you draw, seeing as it off. No. The raffle tickets are not going to be 75% off, Tara. The raffle tickets will be $5 each or 5 for $20 because all proceeds are going to Bravehearts. So far, I am sitting at 
$467 that I have raised for Bravehearts and I'm hoping to smash through $500 tomorrow. So um, that would be super exciting. But that does include the $12 um, entry fee, part of the entry fee that is being donated per person as well. So if I could smash through 500, I would be super ecstatic and then we donate that through my work. So then that will be $1,000 to Brave Hearts. Um, but yes, hopefully that will be it. Um, so I am looking forward to seeing the majority of you girls tomorrow. And um, yes, if anyone wants a catalogue, let me know. The new catalogue does go live on the 4th of June. So there has been an announcement from Stamping Up that some of the items in the retiring list have now been discounted for the last couple of days. I did put a post on my page yesterday about that. Um, if you would like anything, they are while stocks last or only until midnight on June 3rd. So if you want anything, let me know. Um, I'm very surprised in there that the bundle of um, new ink pads is in there. So that was already a 10% off if you bought a whole bundle. And I think that's reduced by another 10 or 20%. So I'm actually debating as to whether I should get another, another set because that's just a price too good to, to go past for 16 ink pads on all pretty new colours. So check it out. Even if you've bought some stuff before, just have a look. Um, there's quite a few things that are on sale you might have missed. Um, and let me know. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and I hope you have a good weekend.